Welcome back, Bravehearts Worldwide. I'm Dr. Daryl Wolf. This is Doc Star TV. And how's this? Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Okay, so today um, we are doing a show called Real People, Real Healing. And guess what? Until you become your authentic self, which I would call a real person, you're not real until you're authentic self. And do you even know how to find your authentic self? And then when you become your authentic self, you will know how to create the perfect day from the moment you rise until you close your eyes. You know, I don't expect this to ever become popular until I pass on. Uh, you know, the reality is, is that unconditional love is a hard pill to swallow. You know, the reality is, is that people are not going to have unconditional love for themselves, except for maybe one out of a thousand. And I'm being totally honest. I'm not taking anything away from anyone. So the reality is, is why should people buy my BS? Well, they shouldn't buy my BS. But the reality is you can't give what you're not. You can only give what you are. If you had unconditional love, you could do that for your family. Don't tell me you don't judge your family. Don't tell me you don't have people you hate that you don't like, that you want to get even with. Like who in the hell do they think they are? That's over for me. I'm not going down that road ever. I won't deal with that road. When people come to me, they got to stop complaining. They got to stop explaining the same story over again. But why don't we tell it one time? I mean, I need to hear your story, uh, no matter how you see it. Understand something. Your perception is personal. What you perceive the world is and what you perceive somebody is treating you you're not right until you put yourself in their shoes, until you have a perspective of what really is going on, not what you think is going on because of the belief systems you have. Look, at, let me just tell you this, and I've proven it, so and I'll prove it every day, any day, and that's this. Your dis-ease is your personality. Your healing would be your personality. But if you don't want to change your personality and you've got a disease, you're never going to be healed. Go ahead. Take massive personal action until you've spent all your money, all your energy. Don't change your personality and find out if your reality can even hold. That thing can never even cement. Okay, so just know that. And the reality is, is I get it. Like I told you, one out of 10,000 people are going to unconditionally love and care for themselves, which means they could actually do that for others instead of judging everyone. Uh, come on, doesn't religion teach us to judge? Doesn't, not all maybe, but most. It doesn't the system teach us to judge? Don't we get judged the first day we go to school? Don't we get told to shut up and listen? Okay, seriously? And then we just get bloody well programmed. So you know what? I'm going to tell you something. I love you, I don't trust you. I love you, but I don't trust you. I can't trust you until you trust yourself and you'll never trust yourself unless you work from your instinct, not from this six inches that's been programmed. Your subconscious holds all your prominent dominant programs. And guess what? You know when they say people don't change? Well, because they don't. Unless you're gonna go to brainwash boot camp, which would be my whole life coach certification, it's a nine day course. Oh, but wait a minute, you don't have the time, you don't have the money, I get it, okay. Or, you know what, if you just wanna stick your toe in, you could take the four day course, which is called Braveheart Circle. And the next one that I'll be doing will be actually in Extapa, Mexico at a four diamond resort. This place is just absolutely stunning. You don't have to stay there. I mean, you can get better prices if you come with us, and, but you don't have to stay there, but you can enjoy the whole thing. You know, let me just say this. The day that I became my authentic self, I, could, I actually realized that I'm allowed to have fun when the rest of the world is crying, okay? I'm allowed to have fun and stay in love with myself even though my, my kids or my family are telling me that the end of the world is here as we know it. I'm not doing it, okay? I don't show my love through suffering like 99% of the population, and that's the truth, right? Whoever suffers the most in a family is the hero. Well, guess that makes me zero. It makes me zero until the person wants to change and then I'm the hero. So, you know, the reality is if you want to unconditionally love and care for yourself, don't think that you're gonna get, okay, kudos from your family, your friends, or the world, because understand something, I am absolutely doing nothing ever that the majority does. 
ever. Nothing. I will do nothing that the majority does. I will never do that. And you need, I, I will put that in cement. Anybody who does what their family does are crazy. You can't tell me that your family is enlightened. Okay, because you can't be enlightened unless you have awareness. And you can't have awareness if you don't have unconditional love and for yourself. You're never going to have it. And you can believe it or not believe it, but you're just not going to achieve it. But you can tell me whatever you think. I'm not the one that made up these laws. These are laws. Okay, the universe is based on unconditional love. But down here on planet Earth, we judge and we get ruled and we get schooled and we get fooled. And then we go and we use those belief systems against ourselves and our loved ones. So anyways, I have Sonia on with me today and we called this one overwhelmed and excited. I said, what do you want to call it? She says, well, I'm overwhelmed, but I'm excited. So we called it that. And the reason why she's on today is because she's like a little terrorist. She's been terrorizing me. I got to come on. I got to have a consultation with you. All right. So, you know, it worked this time. She got me. I was weak. I'll admit it. Okay. So here we are. Hi, Sonia. Hi, Daryl. Thank you so much for taking time to be on with me. I know that you're nonstop always helping people. So I really appreciate this time. Hey, listen, it, it, you know what? I was just kidding. Okay. You know that I'm a, I'm a drama king. And you know what? I got to tell you, if I wasn't a drama king, I would never be able to get anything across to people. So, you know, people will say, oh my God, is he mad at us? Is he mad? Is he angry? No, they don't understand that. Guess what? We're trying to crack your coconut from the inside out. You know, like we've got a little baby uh, uh, chick in this egg. Well, I can't crack the egg from the outside in or I'll kill it. I've got to go and try to do something to wake up and create awareness inside of that coconut. So you crack it from the inside out. Okay. All right. I just got to say, um, you do seem not overwhelming, but intimidating for some, um, but I know you're passionate. So I, okay, first, I we get need to hear you. Well, you do, but most of the population don't. You already, I am not here for the people that do not want this. And that's the majority. I get it. One out of a thousand, maybe one out of a few thousand people are ready for this message. Do you understand? And yes, we love everybody. They don't have to be like us. Okay. The reality is, is guess what? Unless I became what I am, I didn't know what I, okay, well, I'd either be an alcoholic or I'd be a drug addict because how else am I going to suppress the spirit that wants to jump out of my body and uh, get back to its original vibration? And I'm not waiting for the majority of the population because they're not coming. They're not coming. They're not coming. And guess what? But I'm here for everyone and anyone. And understand this. I don't do it because I fear God. I don't do it because I want people to go, oh, he's a nice guy. I do it because guess what? We were all created by the same universal consciousness and we're all going back there. And you know, everybody's so full of bullshit that we're family and love is the answer. Well, love is not the answer and we're not all family until you can unconditionally love yourself. Who could you love? You can't love another person like that until you can do it for yourself. And people don't even know what family is. So that's the reality. You know, it's so easy to program a human being. And the reality is, is this, you have to lovingly be willing to deprogram the programs you got from zero to seven. It's all science. If you, anybody wanted to do any research instead of just reacting all the time, they would know that everything I say is based on science. It's not based on BS, all right? And the reason why I show all these things about how people can work on themselves. Cause let me tell you something, you need to go from patient to practitioner and then practitioner to doctor and understand something. You need to be the doctor of yourself and the doctor of your family. You don't want to come to me forever. You don't want to rely on me forever. You want to take whatever you can get from me and then move on to another level. And you want to keep moving on and keep learning from people on this planet. And that's what it takes. I'm only one small piece of the puzzle. Let's talk You're about you. You're making quite an impact. Let's talk about you, love. I was the person trying to save everyone else. I've always felt good with wanting to help people, 
but I kind of forgot myself and I had doubt. Um, we talked about fear before, which I know has led me to some of the symptoms, but the more I listen to you and I've been in your library more than anything, like more than in college, just the last two, three months have been wonderful because it's like the missing piece of the puzzle, but you're actually answering solution and giving solutions. And I'm French, by the way, so I might use a different word sometimes. If I don't make sense, just never mind that. Uh, <laughs> trust me, give a little I'm, I'm not French. And guess what? I hardly make sense. Go ahead. <laughs> well, that's good. We won't make sense together. There it is. Um, so I, I have a lot of things, but I just feel like right now I wanted to share a little bit because some people might be overwhelmed when they're online trying to get some help, trying to get some answers. And for myself, I've been on a healing journey for about the last 10 years. Um, but the last three years really made us like we moved away in nature. I don't know if you can see I'm right near the river, a beautiful spot. And this has been like life changing. For me, I stopped taking pharmaceutical drugs in 2014. So I was living, I thought, healthy. And then three years ago, I had, there's a blue spot on my tongue that showed up. And when I went to get to see someone, a nurse told me it was three different cancer possibility. So she shouldn't have never told me that. And for a whole month I spent, in my mind, I had fear. I went to got checked by a specialist and he's like, I believe it's a hematoma. Uh, you probably bruise your tongue. And I have a hole in my teeth, like in between two teeth, I keep getting the food clogged out. So I think I just bruised it and it keeps coming back. Um, so when I had that, I went researching, I bought a really expensive uh, frequency machine. I started doing treatments on my own. And I got to tell you before that I hadn't seen a doctor for eight years other than giving birth to my son, which we totally <laughs> took him out of that system too. So I kind of want to do things on my own because I didn't trust I felt there was something wrong and I took prescription medicine for about 20 years of my life without getting any better. I always kept having different symptoms. And for myself, when I was young, I was having lots of symptoms that now I understand. I had issues in my tissues and I had, however you say, poop in your, in your pelvis um, from the food. But I know a lot of it is mental because I've changed a lot of different things in my life right now. But when that came up out on my tongue, I didn't understand. And I thought I had a few months to live. So it really made my perception of life change. Um, we now homeschool both our kids, me and my husband. We are very blessed. We're in nature. So I was like, it's not possible that I have a C diagnostic. And I don't want to be diagnosed with anything. I believe in the law of attraction. But I was scared for about a month. I didn't even tell my parents because they would tell me, go to the hospital, go get tested, take some pills. And but, I was ashamed. But, okay, one second. You do realize being stressed out over that for a month. I know. Actually, you made it a hundred times worse by dumping adrenaline and cortisol continually into your body. And understand, that's the way all systems work. I know, but, but you got to catch yourself. That's why you've got to wear a Braveheart love band. That's why you've got to, every time you go into a bathroom, you go and you look and you go, I am Braveheart, I am healed, I am love. I will protect myself against myself. And you have to protect yourself against yourself until you never feel fear again. I know people don't believe this, but I don't fear anything, okay? You know, I was raised a born again Christian. I had to get rid of, um, some of that which I was taught, I kept a lot of it. But the reality is, until you understand that that which created you is unconditional love, that it never has judged you, whatever that is, you know, this is just the highest frequency vibration in the universe that created the whole universe, but you want to dumb it down to the point, okay, that you believe that you don't have the power or deserve to be healed. And that's why you worried for a month. You know, if you actually bought into my BS of unconditional love, that you were created by that, that you are that, then you, would, you wouldn't you would even get into it at all. So, and understand, if your tongue has a bruise on it, then it, 
listen, that is something that you have been saying things that you shouldn't say that are not na that are very nasty. You've been saying some nasty stuff, whether it's about yourself or about others. That's why you had a bruise on your tongue. My mother, okay, she was a beautiful woman when she wasn't drinking. And when she drank, she, her tongue was a whip. And I mean, it was a whip. She could cut you right in half. She ended up getting tongue cancer. My father, he got leukemia. My father also had triple bypass heart surgery. I can show you every surgery my father had and why he got it because of his personality. I can show you everything that was going on with my mother and what was going on with her and why it happened. And then we can go way back because she could not make peace with being raped by her father. My father couldn't make peace that his father never showed him any love. You know, so the reality is, is they could only do as good as they could. They couldn't do better. They weren't going to get better because it was nobody that was going to talk to them like I do. Not today, like I talk. I don't even know anybody who talks like I do online. I'm sure there's people, there's many people that do or at least aren't scared to talk. I mean, most practitioners want to play Inky Dinky Schnitzel House. I'm over that. I'm all in. And you've got to be all in to you. You've got to find inner dependence. You need to understand that you are psycho. Anybody that would sit there and worry about that for one month, that stress, you put that on all your family. You couldn't work properly. You couldn't sleep properly. And guess what? That the biggest problem was not the bruise in the tongue. The biggest problem was is that you were bruised in your subconscious because you need to rewrite programs. That's it. I agree. Um I am now just tuning in into your Brave Heart course, uh, the 12 steps or 13 steps, I believe. It's 12. Um, it's called it's Brave 12. Heart Online Emotional Intelligence course in my library, everyone. So just so you know, and that's a master class that we used to charge $1,000 for. And that's free. And then there's another one in there called Reverse the Irreversible that shows that everybody, you don't need drugs, you don't need canes, walkers, wheelchairs, you don't need surgery. Okay, and then there's another one in there that totally dismantles cancer. And it's called the Emotional Chemistry of Cancer Disease and Healing. These are all free masterclasses. And understand something, you need to go in there and you need to do your research. Or the Rockefeller Report that talks about the Rockefellers and the Rothschilds, a pact they have to actually poison us and feed off of us like we're some big nipple for the rest of our lives. Okay, or you can go into medical mafia where it shows the whole platform of what the medical system was created for. And guys, whoever hasn't been into his library, <coughs> I would say you need to start now because I've paid for mentors, for coaches, for courses, um, especially the last year. Or so as I was trying to heal myself um, and I've learned more in the last three months, I've only been following his page for three months. And I've been applying for about two months um, some of his protocol. A lot of the stuff is free or very cheap. There's some amazing products. There's some quality products in there. Um, but I'm happy. I'm excited. And I know that I'm going to let go of all the crap um, that I've been holding on to. Because I, I was abused when I was younger by a drug dealer that I moved in with at 14 years old. Um, I was an overachiever in school, so I did very good, like almost aces in my classes. And I felt I needed to dumb down because I was too smart. I was the blonde girl, blue eyes, big boobs. I had a lot of jealousy towards me. So I had to change who I really was. And I've never felt comfortable in my own skin until now. And I just turned 40 last week. Um, I was hospitalized in February because my, my, doctor um called me after she saw some tests and she said you need to go to the er and they hospitalized me right then and there my bpn cholesterol blood pressure was up the roof creatinine protein urea all these fancy words which i didn't really know a lot about them i stayed there a week i had my yoga mat i had my essential oils and i had my friend a freedom fighter bring me online grocery because I couldn't do the hospital food. And they kicked me out because they said, you're too well, but you need a biopsy of your kidneys because we need to figure out what's wrong with them because they 
checked my heart, they checked my liver, they checked, they did some scans, but I didn't want to do the biopsy. Something told me, don't do it. And I kept saying heavy metals. I had a, a something in my ear saying, get them tested. It took me four doctors to finally agree. And it took nine weeks for them to send me the results. And I have over 10 very high heavy metals in my body that I shouldn't have. Um, we all have some, but it was extremely high. Um, the doctor kept hounding me and calling me every month to get that biopsy done. And when I listened to your videos, I was so blessed that I listened to my intuition to not do it because I've only had one surgery in my whole life. It was an endoscopy for my PMS or they said endometriosis, car tissue, cyst and ovaries. And then things got worse after that. So I didn't want to go under the knife. Well, just know this, everyone. Just know that endometriosis is scar tissue in the pelvic girdle, lower pelvic girdle of a woman. And it's caused because you were pooping in your pelvis. You, the, the large intestine leaks waste. That's the only and main reason. There isn't another reason. Go to any doctor, they'll go, I don't know. It must be genetic. And there are no genetic diseases. You heard what I said. I'll go online with anyone. I'll go on my show and, and challenge me on this. So know this, everyone. 98% of all the problems that people have on a physical level are actually from pooping in their pelvis. There's only one out of 100 people that don't have parasites. Uh, the cysts on your ovaries are actually dead cells and pus. Would you rather have a sack of pus and dead cells or would you rather have... Uh, ovarian cancer. Make your choice. It's your choice. So the reality is, if we were to treat the Holy Grail, the large intestine with the respect it deserves, 98% of all symptoms and illnesses would not occur because it is the garden of life. It is where the good bacteria are. It is the compost area to make the good bacteria but seeing that everybody's throwing not they're throwing plastic food toxic food alcohol tons of sugar you know everybody needs to get this you know add is sugar in the brain for a child whereas dementia is actually sugar in the brain for an adult okay so understand this that it's all about poisoning the human doings because we really know what's not good for us, but because we can become so highly addicted, sugar is eight times more addictive than cocaine. So don't get upset after you've went, made your children addicted and then you're wondering why they're stealing the cookies, okay, or why you're waiting till they go to bed and then you eat them all. That used to be me, and uh, I was able to stop recreational drugs, pharmaceutical drugs easier than sugar. So um, it's real, guys. And I know that most people were raised like that. And I, I can't blame society or parents and that. I, I know now, so I need to do better. And the real talk that you do, no one's ever dared talk to me like that. I'm a very confident woman from what it looks like because I put up a front and I've, you know, always wanted to help and lead others. But then not even my husband, I told him, I said, Dr. Wolf talks to me like no one ever did, but I needed to be put in my place. So no, whoa, I whoa, 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 whoa. First of all, let me make this perfectly clear. I am totally in touch with my heart. I talk to you like your higher self asked me to do. I was not in a bad mood that day. I put myself on, on the line for everybody. And understand something, if you think you're gonna crack the coconut, of anybody here today that's been programmed, you have to take them to the edge, let them see the cliff, and then pull them back and hug them. So I do not kick anyone's ass. I do not try to put anybody in place. I try to give what people would want, uh, what their higher self would want. I'm not gonna put myself out unless I thought you wanted it, okay? Thank you. So the, the big thing for me right now is my kidneys. And I let me know if I'm, I'm doing right. And I believe you will say yes. Um, I don't want to get tested anymore. I was suggested to go get tested, blood tests, uh, urine every one to three months. But I feel I'm just waiting for some news. Um, well, Sonia, love let's, let's leave them alone for now and just forget about that. But do you see how you're still puffy in the face? 
Oh, yeah. Well, you're only puffy yeah. in the face because you need to retain water. You need to retain water because you're still pooping in your pelvis and you're still inflamed because the only reason why the fire truck has filled up your face with water is because you're still inflamed, okay? Your face filled up with water is telling me that your pelvis is still toxic. So have you started the daily cleansing tea, the black gold? Uh, are you doing yes. the vaginal infusions and are you doing the ultimate coffee enema? Because if you do all these things in 20 days, if you go hardcore, you know, you are going to, if you pulled the cork out of your butt, you've drained, because you got, you got to drain the toxins from the bottom up because we fill up toxic wise from the bottom up, okay? I had 50 pounds of water fluid on my body in May. I was 200 pounds, five foot two, and I had lymphatic fluid leaking out on my thigh. That's how much. Okay, um, now that's, that's a total bowel, bowel block and the kidney. So what is your fear of loss? What, what did you lose a child? Did you lose something? What did you lose? Why do you have so much fear of loss? Because you do not have a kidney problem unless you have fear of loss. I, I did have a um, couple miscarriages, but success. Um, I, I'm, a, I'm a leader in a company that we had very awesome CBD in Canada and they took it out overnight. I lost huge income. I lost team. I lost respect. And it's been a fear of mine. Of okay, there's your, ki there's your kidney problem. Now let me go back yeah. to something else. There are no miscarriages. It's not a miscarriage. Your body kicked it out. It said, listen, there's not enough loving in the oven. It's way too toxic. Remember something, the baby's either in the middle of a loving oven or it's in the middle of a what? Sewer dump, okay, a cesspool. And understand, when these times, go back and be honest, these times you were stressing out, these times you were eating crap, these times you probably had total addiction, you're allowed to eat whatever you want when you're pregnant because food doesn't matter to the medical system because they're part of this whole destruction thing. I mean, you gotta understand, the Rockefeller signed a pact with the Rothschilds. The Rothschilds signed a pact with an evil entity and they've got also been given the keys to the finances of this world. They control everything and we're supposed to rise from that. So understand, I'm not sure if the, it doesn't sound like a very fair playing ground, but the reality is, the reality is, is this, is fear not. And the reality of this too is, is guess what? Think of all the energy and all of the destruction you did on your body. So you're paying for it. You're paying because the materialistic world was teaching you a lesson. Yeah. And, and then guess what? You couldn't let go of it. You couldn't let go of it. And guess what? You can believe this or not believe this. I was worth $3.5 million 20 years ago. Okay, whether you wanna believe this or not, Lori's sitting right here. 15 years ago, I was worth $2,200 and I was never happier. I never felt more free and I needed that lesson, okay? I needed, to, needed that lesson, not to kick my ass, like people would say, but to bring my spirit back, to make the um, interdependence not the independence, the interdependence, and to understand something, okay? It doesn't matter. The, the materialistic, you can, you can be abundant on all levels. All you have to do is love, honor, and respect yourself, first and foremost, before anyone else or anything else. You do that, and you can be abundant with your relationships, with your health, and with your wealth. You can have it all, and we're meant to have it all. The only people that are poor are poverty conscious people. Huh, seriously? You take a look at the people that are always just trying to pay the bills. They're always talking about their poverty. When we find our passion and our purpose and we gift the world, huh, 
you don't think about money anymore because you didn't go do a job. You're doing your passion. You don't think about it. You know, when I came back into business here, uh, it's only been 15 years because I was nine years. I quit. I had enough of health. And when I came back, I told Lori, I said, I don't want to know anything about the money, anything about the banking. If I can't have it, tell me. And if I and and if I can have it, don't say a word and don't tell me what's in the account. And I don't know what's in my accounts. Because that's not what counts. No. But at the same time, once you're abundant with yourself and you have faith in yourself and you don't have these beliefs that you're unworthy because you did something in your past, because go ahead, why don't you just make yourself unworthy and, and you try to use that chokehold to rise your vibration into something else. I agree. And I've held on to a lot of those beliefs. I've held on, like my story was the abused little girl for so long and I just had to let it go. And I know that your course is gonna be the little, the last touch that I needed. Um, so I'm excited to go through uh, and follow that. But I also wanna say I did not eat any veggies until I was in my 20s. Um, and no offense to my parents, they weren't like taught how to eat good. And I see them having health issues now. And mom and dad, if you're watching this, I love you. Um, you did the best you can, the same as I'm doing the best as I can. And I always wanna keep getting better. But I feel that a lot of people are stuck in that cycle. We totally exited the matrix, as we call it, in 2019. I heard rumors about school. Um, so we took our oldest son out of school and we moved, started a brand new life. And it's been the four of us. And Sonia, I can I say something? I think that that's magical. But we're still coming back to you, okay? You, yeah. one second. I gotta stop this. Great. Try to stop it. Bear with me, everyone. They're gone. Okay. You're going to have to get over the uh, uh, beating up on yourself. Yes. No. And guess what? Your kidneys, we can talk about those, but you can bring those back. Why don't you take the load off? You take the load off by cleansing and rebuilding the colon, by cleansing and rebuilding your liver. That's the main thing. And the reality is, um, how much overweight are you? 10 pounds? Right now, I haven't waited in a month, uh, but I'd say probably 10 pounds. Yeah, okay. Well, the reality is, is that 10 pounds, we need to get rid of it, okay? And it'll just help us on the emotional side as well. <laughs> Go on the perfect day diet, but then look I at am. then look at doing a six day advanced water fast because you can pull this off. When you use our nutraceuticals, look, our six day advanced water fast, anybody can do it. And when you're taking IGF 300,000, you know, when you're actually doing uh, um, the things that we suggest, there's only six things we tell you to take. They don't turn on the Krebs cycle. They, buy, they bypass the Krebs cycle. They don't turn on your digestive tract. They give you energy. And all we want to do is give you more energy. So go on a perfect day diet. And then when you think you're ready, try to schedule it that you're not going to overwhelm yourself. And then go and do that. But first, go and do like black gold, daily cleansing tea. Hit the curcumin cayenne 5000. And try to do yes. one every other hour to two every other hour. So you don't have to take a ton of stuff. And then start doing the vaginal infusion. So let's let's do it this way. But I'd first like you to do get the bowels moving and then do the ultimate coffee enema at least once a day. OK, and then after that and you've done 10 to 20 days of that, let's start adding in the vaginal infusion. If you're if your vaginal canal is not on fire or if you're not on fire down there, then we'll we'll just do the ultimate coffee enema first. Then we'll get into the vaginal infusion. But uh, you have a good relationship with your husband? I do. He needs to clap your kidney area, okay, for about uh, five to 10 minutes every night. And start off gentle with the clapper, okay, and have him clap your kidney area. 
You're not gonna damage it. You're just gonna bring more circulation. But before you do that, you wanna skin brush it, okay? You okay. skin brush, like take the natural skin brush that we sell uh, yeah. uh, and then skin brush the area or at first to stimulate and get warmed up, then clap it, okay? And then after you're done that, make sure that you rub like uh, pain away essential oil or frankincense over top of your kidney area. And it would be good if you take a little bit of rose cream DMSO and rub that on the kidney area and then put the essential oil so it gets carried right in. But understand something, I'm serious about the clapping. You know, here's the deal. Anybody that has kidney problems, they want you to leave the kidneys alone. If you don't get in there and increase the circulation in the kidneys and the kidney area and cleanse out your colon and your liver, you are kicking the living crap out of your kidneys. And then they tell you not to drink so much water. Cut back on your water. Sure, I've got a water pump. The water pump has some rust in it and you don't want me to increase the circulation to get rid of the rust. And you don't want me to run water through a water pump. If you don't, you'll burn it out. You go ahead and run a pump that's a water pump and don't do it. And the other thing is you better be drinking structured water because it has a thousand percent more hydration on that area, okay? So I've been using the um, the water structure. I love it. I carry it with me. I've got the, the portable one. Yeah. Um, I'm actually on day seven of the ultimate enema. Um, my question is, I saw that you mentioned doing a water one First, is that every day or just when okay. you have time? <clears throat> I'm having trouble getting the coffee, the, the tube into my rectum. And then when I try to put the coffee in, it just comes out. You know, it's not going up in or it feels like there's pressure here. So if you do like a warm water, structured water enema, and then you put a black diamond in, just a little bit of black diamond, or you could uh, um, put a little bit of black gold, but then you have to strain it because it's more granule. Because I'll tell you why. Remember something. So we got uh, Gerson Clinic, okay, where Dr. Gerson invented the coffee enema m many years ago. The problem is, is when you do a coffee enema and you're not using black diamond or, or tummy love or black gold, See, that's a humic fulvic. And what they do is, is they'll grab onto any parasites, parasite eggs, heavy metals, chemicals, okay, uh, bad bacteria, and they'll grab it so that you don't reabsorb it back into your bloodstream. And trust me, everybody has a leaky gut. If you've taken antibiotics once, you got leaky gut. And the only way you can get really, truly bring your large intestine back is if you treat it like a real garden, if you treat it like a healthy compost. But look at the people, how they disrespect it. Most people look like they ate a beach ball. They're ready to blow up with gas. The only, the problem is, that, I mean, they're so full of gas because they're rotting. Understand something, endometriosis is a rotting pelvis. Cysts are a rotting pelvis. Bladder infections, rotting pelvis. Prostate problems, rotting pelvis. Okay, every form of cancer is from a rotting pelvis pretty well. I said almost everyone. Now, um, a hip replacement, rotting pelvis. Hip uh, knee problems without any sports injury or nothing is a rotting pelvis because you're pooping in your pelvis and understand something. So the, uh, the joints get calcified and uh, the cartilage, they go, oh my God, there's no cartilage, you're bone on bone. You're not bone on bone, your cartilage is calcified. And that's why we were able to give a money back guarantee to people that they're not going to surgery. The body will heal itself. God is great. God is beautiful. And we can heal ourselves. We just need to get back to nature, just like how you moved and now you live on a river. Okay. How I build my life around beautiful places to be. Like right now, we, we've got to go up to see Jim Gale. Okay. Because I'm doing a lecture there. He's having a really big event on the 11th and uh, uh, that's food forest abundance. And you know what? We've been days trying to find a nice place to get an Airbnb. And right now we don't have a lot of luck, do we, honey? No, we don't. Better look today. Uh, so we're going to be there for about two weeks and then we go to Puerto Rico, then we go to Mexico. And then in January, we start the world tour and we start doing all our trainings in uh, Extapa. So 
Everybody, you may not believe this, but if you were to believe that you deserved everything beautiful and you built your life around beauty because you are beautiful, okay, guess what? There's no selfish in that at all. It's just you being awake. I, I like, I have so many things I want to say back from this. Um, but another question you mentioned to do the enema, the ultimate enema for 20 days. Um, and you just said, even if it's just once a day right now, how I'm set up, we have a camp and this place, which is a house we built four years ago, I'm putting it up for sale because I want to move with my family because I live here by myself for about two, three years now. Um, and I'm thinking this might be a healing spot, so I might keep it and, uh, invite you guys to stay over. If you're ever in New Brunswick, no Airbnb needed for you. We have this perfect spot, well, thank um, you. but I'm starting new and I will be doing 20 days of morning and evening. Just right now. I, I can only do one. So one a day is better than none. Why all, right? can you only do one? And, and there's no, there's no bad answer. There's no bad answer. <laughs> I don't have space at the camp unless I do it in front of my four-year-old and husband at, in the evening because I want to spend a few hours a day with them. So I go there. Beautiful. Or I could do it at 11 p.m. at night. Uh, do you suggest doing it that late or? Well, it depends. Do you have to get up really early? And you, if you're not going to crack off seven to eight hours of sleep, then I would suggest that you don't do it because sleep is a beautiful thing. I know. So that I've been giving myself the rest that I know I need, mm -hmm. um, but I'm doing a lot of things. Everything you mentioned, black gold, black diamond, structured water, I'm doing it. The infusion, I did it last night. Um, so I the am vaginal, The vaginal infusion. Yes, the vaginal one. How did that make you feel? Actually, good. Um, and I'm excited. It gives me time to relax. When I do my ultimate enema, I nebulize and I listen to some some affirmations and different things that I didn't take the time for me to do it before. Now I wear, I, I don't wear makeup, but I put lipstick on or lip gloss on. I, I just intentionally love myself. I love looking at myself in the mirror and saying, I'm loved, I'm healed, I'm brave heart. It, it's all new to me. And it's something that we all need to be doing. So um, I'm really in a different state of mind. Well, the world, the I world, I don't mean to cut in and I apologize, nope. but this is important. The world finally has to realize that if you love yourself, you don't go to hell, you go to heaven. Right. Right. And my husband for a few years have been telling me that I smell like metal, my breath and even my sweat. Like when I was young, I thought I was in menopause because I couldn't wear a sweater because I'd be sweating like crazy red face. I was like 12 or 13. Um, and I know it has to do with some of the, the V and some of the things that I, I did and I took. Well, some take a look. We, 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 I think we sent it out to everyone in our email list. We sent them out a huge study to show that um, humic fulvic, it can actually clear what the V does inside the body. You know what? You know what clears it the most? MCT C60 or M or hemp oil C60, curcumin cayenne 5000, okay, and black diamond black gold. Uh, and black diamond black gold is the best heavy metal cleanser, um, chemical cleanser, and parasite cleanser on the planet. And if people do their research, they'll find out I'm telling the truth. And I will never have parasites. I'll never have a disease. And you'll never hear that I'm having a cold or a flu. I think also people who wants to detox needs to listen to your stuff and do more research. Because two years ago, or even last year, I did two, three different things to detox. And I didn't open up my pathways. I didn't do the dry brush. I didn't do the lymphatic. You're going to blow, you blow yourself up. You, I bet you yeah. felt like you were going to blow up. If you don't, That's when if you, I started having symptoms, you've got to get the cork out of your butt. You got to filter the liver and that will help to restore your kidneys. Yes. Yes. So I know that we're, um, I, I know we have a lot of other places to go, but I just had a few questions cause like I've been seeing conflict. Um, when they say your kidneys are in danger, 
before I was hospitalized, I did a four day water fast. Can I say something? Yes. How could your kidneys be in danger unless you're a stat? Are you a statistic now? A statistic is, is that you eat um, um, an American diet, a Canadian diet, that you eat the diet. Okay, the diet that the majority eats, that's all they can say. All when they say you're in trouble is because they're never going to change the diet. People don't change their diet when they go to a medical doctor. So they know you're in trouble. And yeah. if you change your diet, if you change the way you eat, think and drink, you're no longer a statistic. Hey, listen, doc. You told me that I'm in danger. Well, what if I stopped acting like the majority of the population and that is how they bring statistics together. What if I were to do everything different than the majority of the population, doc? He'd go, what does that even mean? So the reality is, is this, the day that you decide to create a high vibrational lifestyle on all levels, the game has changed. I mean, in 24 hours, you've taken yourself out of the fire and you've just risen higher. It's over. I call bullshit. Bullshit. And I have to swear because it's bullshit. If you're on our, pro our program, I need you to stop thinking about your kidneys and just do what I've asked you to do and everything is going to come along. Let me tell you something. And this is how it works. There is a God. And that God is vibrational. And it is the biggest powerful light energy in the universe. And it says, whatever you put out, I will return. So guess what? Why don't you just go around and worry about your kidneys and how your life is threatened and how you might die of kidney disease. And I guarantee you, you're so powerful, Sonia, that it's coming for you, baby. There, how's that? And I won't let that happen because I've changed a lot of my thinking. And I understand I brought on like all of my symptoms. I understand Your personality has created everything from the house you're sitting in right now to the clothes you wear, to the diseases or the health you have or the finances that you have, to the friends you have, to the thoughts you have. Everything, yeah. everything. And when you become everything to yourself, your family will go, oh my God, she's no longer a terrorist. We don't have to worry about her. She's not talking about dying anymore, kidney disease. She's just talking about life and freedom. Now you are the gift, girl. I agree. Okay. 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 Um, I, I used to speak a lot about freedom, um, said too much truth, and I got canceled on Facebook two years ago, so... Um, no, 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 no. You were a fighter. Stop being a fighter and start being a lover. Stop it. Why don't you just go around and talk about all the things that are beautiful in the planet? Why don't you tell everybody what they could do to be healthy and happy and, and wealthy? Why don't you teach that and keep your mouth shut for everything else? You made well, yourself, you made yourself sick. You were looking for someone to hate. Because you couldn't look at yourself because you have belief systems that you're a failure, you're unworthy. Well, maybe you're a little sinner. You, I don't know. But the reality is, guess what? That's what made you sick. I know now. And I couldn't have listened to this probably even a year ago. I probably would have been like, no, not ready for it. So I believe timing. Um, and we all have a different story. Well, that's why, um, guess what? It's really dangerous for people to come onto my platform before they're ready or else they'll blow up or they want to blow me up. Right. Yeah. I've been doing a lot of gardening, growing herbs and that. Um, just one weird thing I noticed, my eyes do puff up and swell up. But every time I touch an herb, I feel like they're swelled up. Um, I don't know if you have any suggestions. Okay, one that. second. That's not going to happen when you detox enough. Your inflammation okay. is still too high. Look at yeah. these little chipmunk cheeks. I know. Okay, I know. either got some nuts in your mouth or you need to drain. Okay. Too. Well, guess what? This is all going to change in six months. You're what are you gonna What are you gonna complain about then? You're not gonna have anything. Oh my God! What will you do? Because your subconscious is used to complaining about something to your family on a continual basis. I, I wouldn't, agree. I would not call you or visit you 
because you are not going to bring my vibration down. Yep. But don't worry, your family will do it because they believe that that's part of the love, it's part of the suffering to suffer it out. I know us moving was the best choice, but we left a lot of our friends and family behind. We don't do Christmases. I don't believe in holidays to make people sick anyway. So we've totally changed those with my family. Um, how would you help my husband, for example? Um, he's seen me spent over $20,000 in the last year for my health, whether thermography, a bunch of different treatments. He needs me to justify spending the money and he believes in you. Um, he's just afraid because I've had holistic doctors trying to help me and then it was just poof, they're out of nowhere. They're not there anymore. Well, um, uh, I seem to be here. I know you are. I'm not going anywhere. Uh, and when I do decide to leave the planet, well, when you won't be that, then you won't be able to get in touch with me unless you can go into a very deep meditation. Okay, so understand, just tell your husband that I'm not going to prove anything to him. And I'm not going to prove anything to you. He needs to have more faith in you. And he thinks you made mistakes. And here's here's let your husband listen to this. What's his name? He was Christian. Christian, if your wife did not go and waste all the money she wasted and the time and the energy, she wouldn't be here where she is today. And then you would have to go visit her at the hospital or give her her medication. So which one would you like, Christian? And if you think that you're not going to waste money um, up until the point of finding the Holy Grail, which is the unconditional love for yourself, Christian, you can forget it. So like she just said, go back and watch this, Christian. A year ago, she wouldn't been able to handle this conversation. So guess what? You can't handle this conversation yet. So you're best to leave her alone because she's on track, buddy. And, um, you know, all I can tell you is, is uh, you need to clap her kidneys uh, with all the love in your heart. And you and, and Christian, if you and Sonia were to do the couple's connection where Christian, you're going to sit down, sit up against the wall if you've got a bad back, because most people do because they don't have any core left. But you're going to sit on the floor, spread your legs open. Sonia's going to face you, and she's only going to be about eight inches away. You're going to look in each other's eyes. She's going to put her arms around you and, and just feel your breath coming in and out by your ribs. She'll do the same thing. You'll set a timer for 10 minutes. You will not talk. You'll have a slight smile. You'll collect, you'll connect to your lion heart breath. She will too. And guess what? You do this for at least eight times. That's it, Sonia. He'll never question another nickel because he needs to look deep within your spirit, within your soul, and the two of you can come together and become one. Become spirit beings, not husband and wife. Because husband and wife, far as I'm concerned, is a sucky path. Mm. And I'm not, telling you, I'm not telling you to not become a husband and wife, but if you left your spirit back, okay, at the altar or back somewhere a long time ago, you are going to struggle with each other, okay? Lori is quite different than me, but guess what? I have unconditional love for myself. I have it for her. She has it for her. So she has it for me. And whatever she wants, I'm going to do for her. Okay. And whatever I want, I, well, I don't know. Will you help me out there, honey? You can do it too. Okay. All right. So the reality is, is this. Stop. See, what, what we don't realize is this really, we have to rewrite the story. Remember, they called it his story because it was his story. If you go into my website and go to my library at docofdetox.com, you're going to see it's called I Am Woman. And if you look in there, 5,000 years ago, the church came together with government and they said, all we got to do is one more thing. We have to get man against woman and woman against man, and then we will rule them all. Because as long as they don't connect to each other, we can steal everything they have. And they go watch the master class. I am woman and tell me I'm wrong. Crazy. I look forward to that. I will. Um, I'm working on my financial right now to be able to go meet you guys in Mexico or Australia. Um, I would love to bring my husband with, um, but I'm, I'm going to do all your courses. It's just a, 
a matter of getting there. So I'm super excited. And, I wanted to ask. But um, take but take the time to be excited and not anxious. So I know. Okay? okay. So take anxious, make excited. And guess what? Can I tell you something? A long time ago, Sonia, you were different. People were not patient with you. And now you don't have patience for yourself. And now you have a kidney problem. Mm -hmm. So I want you to make sure you've got the love band, life band on and give it a snap to snap you back into the present moment and understand you need to have all the patience in the world for you right now because you're going to find yourself and that is the biggest threat to most husbands, maybe not yours. That's the biggest threat and he will be threatened not in his heart but in his subconscious, okay? And understand so will your family and so will other people. So when you really discover yourself, you're gonna have to hold the line for nine months and you can explain to people, you know what, I'm changing and I'm gonna change even more. And the reality is, is guess what? I need to learn how to love myself because it'll allow me to love you more. And you need to not feel threatened. I'm not running away. I, I just want to learn how to love myself so that I don't remain a dis-ease, which means not at ease, which means not at harmony. And then I'm stressing you out and our beautiful family. So you need to allow me to love myself or I will remain sick because yeah. you're not ready, my dear husband, to find yourself yet. My time has come and I'm cracking from the inside out and you can't stop this. So we can either have bad energy or you can allow me to fall in love with myself and love my life more and then you're off the hook, baby, and I will just love you more. Do you understand, Sonia? And that's how you speak. Yes. Okay. And I can't wait for him to watch that. And he's done such a big amount of growth um, in the last few years. So I'm very proud of the husband, the dad, the the person, the best friend he is. Um, I want to say something funny. My my little one on, on Sunday, I had two days of migraines. And I'm going to watch your migraine video you did just earlier. So I'm excited for that. But he's like, Mom, why don't you call Dr. If you have a headache and I just thought it was so funny because <laughs> he hears you, he sees you and I'm like, yeah, you're right. Um, but I wanted to ask, you did the knee clapping uh, with the bottle that you did the scar tissue. If yeah, that's, yeah, that's called one, one shot therapy. When you use the bottom edge of a, a small bottle, I use the iodine yeah. bottle for that yes. one. Do you recommend to do it when there's edema um, or I should do it in the morning? Understand something. Blood? All edema is, is there is a block on this side and this side, so it, it pools the water. Okay. Okay, so with you, you got these here, little cheeks puffing out. Yeah. Guess why? Are you ready? Just think about it before you answer. It's suppressed anger in your TMJ yeah. area, and that's what causes that. I can feel that. Yeah. I also removed my uh, mercury fillings this summer. So that was part of my phase one detox. So I'm doing everything I can one step at a time. I'm, I'm excited. I don't have fear anymore. Um, I look forward to do the water fast. Uh, Oops. I've done one enema okay. and one water fast for four days. And I ended up in the hospital. So my brain kept saying, it's dangerous, but now listen. Oh, it's saying internet unstable. Am I still with you? You're with me now. Go ahead, love. Okay. Um, but yeah, so I have removed the fear of doing Okay, that. first of and all, you ended up in the hospital because you were so fearful. So let's make that perfectly clear to our audience. Okay? Yes. No ultimate coffee enema or fasting or the perfect day diet will ever do that. No. That was just okay. her fearful program because she fears everything new. And it wasn't that, it just, I got so swelled up and then I went for testing. My blood pressure was 184 okay, but, over 111. Okay, first of all, you just needed to do more ultimate coffee enemas or a warm water enema. 
Okay. It no, wasn't yours. Oh, oh, it wasn't mine. No, I didn't know who you were back then. Well, okay. Well, then, uh, okay. We need not to talk anymore because I, 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 because I, I've never heard this happen. And if it did, it's because you were so bloody fearful. So, but now I know it wasn't mine. So I'm good. Yeah, and I'm, I'm excited. I look forward to it. Um, I've been on, you know, um, at least ten, fifteen, uh, ultimate enemas that I've done in the last month or two, and uh, everything else that we've discussed. So. Um, other than that, I am wearing blue uh, light glasses. You reminded me I will get your Teslas. I know they're not the same. Well, blue light, getting... blue light glasses only diminish it by 30%. Don't believe what they're saying. And guess right. what? The Tesla glasses turn all blue light into healing your eyes and your brain. I mean, it's a total supplement you're getting because light is a supplement, but blue light is the poison. It burns the brain, burns the eyes, burns the nervous system. And the one last thing I will, because I want to respect your time and everyone's time here. Every time I go out in public, um, let's say a road trip out in Costco, sleep at an Airbnb, come back home, or have my family visit, when they leave, I end up one to two days either sick migraines, a flu, fever. Um, do you believe it's shedding or is just me? No, uh, the no, sensitivities? no, it's you. No. It's your program. It's your program. You know, first of all, next time you go to Costco, keep a smile on your face and connect to your lion heart breath. Okay? okay, seriously. You know what? Don't get me wrong, and I'm there's nothing against them, but you're you've got one of these freedom fighter minds, you know, and I'm telling you, it's going to destroy you. Okay, I want you to become a I want you to become a, um, a brave heart lover, not a freedom fighter, because if you want freedom, it's got to start inside first, and once you get it internally on all levels, you're not going to be wanting to freedom fight. You'll never want to fight again. You're going to want to share the new thing that if you go inside, your whole outside life is changed. Thank you for letting me share my some of my story, my voice, and uh, just cracking my coconut, I guess. And I'm, I'm really happy. I'm looking forward to it, um, to everything else. And I just, for the first time in my life, I'm a happy person. And you guess know? what? Oh. I need you to time all your tantrums. Time them. Oh, look at I just went into anger tantrum. Oh, I just went into sadness. Oh, I just went into jealousy. Okay? And the reality is, is when you have family over, you're worried they're going to judge you. You're worried it's going to be complicated having them there when you're trying to work on your health. So be honest with your family and say, I'm going to be eating really clean and I've got things that I need to do. I'm on a special protocol because I want to heal myself. And so that's it. You know what you, what you need to do? You need to guess what? Be your best friend and know this, that what you do, you're going to stand up for and you make yourself sick when your family comes because you don't want them to judge you. Well, they're going to judge you. What? Don't be so ridiculous. To think that the world's not going to judge me or my family's not going to judge me? That's ridiculous. I agree. Okay. Merci beaucoup. You have no idea. This this is, uh, it means a lot to me. Family and friends who will watch um, and then everyone else in the world. I hope that you guys gain some insight and uh, that we're helping. I know we're helping others out there just by talking. So yeah. I appreciate you. And just I'll remember, I'm, I'm going to leave you with one last thing. Yes. Make sure that you have unconditional love for everybody because we, you got to know something. We've all been set up to judge each other. It's the only way that they can harvest us. All yes. right. Okay. I want to say thank you to Pam for introducing me to you this summer when I needed it. Pam and her sister Faye from Newfoundland. So shout out to them. Um, you know, and uh, I believe everything happens for a reason. So now let's go crush this. Three, two, one. I got this. Thank you. And bless you. And you do. Thank you. All right. Have a beautiful day, sweetheart.
Thank you. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed that. And that's what you call a brave heart woman uh, willing to come on here and share her story and come from her heart. And what if we all just shared our story? We came from our heart instead of tearing each other apart. That's really important. Okay. Tomorrow, I'm going to be coming on with uh, uh, Jay Lee at one o'clock and it's called uh, Bone Up or Break Down. And whether you're um, in your 30s, 40s, 50s, even in your 80s or 90s, you can have perfect bones. We're going to be talking about that and how to achieve that. We're going to talk about why you have bone problems. And it's basically because you're a little terrorist dumping adrenaline all the time and your body's got to buffer it with the calcium in your bones. And if it didn't, you wouldn't be here. That's why you've got the gallstones. That's why you've got the kidney stones. That's why you've got calcium deposits in your breast. That's why you've got arthritis which means inflammation in the joint caused from calcification because of the inflammation. And guess what? It all comes back from the infection and the infection starts on an emotional level, goes to a physical level because the psychological rules, the biological, it always has, always will. And understand something, just know this, let yourself off the hook for everything you ever did, for everything you've ever did. And who cares if anybody wants to judge you, let them judge you. They're the ones taking the poison pill. All you need to do is observe and learn, no more burn, no more, no more judging yourself. You get rid of that. Three, two, one, that's not me. Three, two, one, I love myself. I can heal myself. Three, two, one, the only thing that matters is the present moment, because that's the only place you can heal. It's the only place you can change, and the, it's the only place that you can experience real life. Have a beautiful day, and God bless everyone.